The Jets are dealing with some turbulence as we check in on the new guys. Hey, everyone. Welcome into another edition of Jets Setting. Rob Wong joined alongside by Winnipeg Sun Jets writer Scott Billick. And Scott, the Jets have been so good for so long, but this last little stretch here, they've found a little bit of struggles, just two and three in their last five with some disappointing losses to some teams that they probably shouldn't be losing to. What have you made about this last stretch for this Jets team? Yeah, it's an interesting thing, right? I, I think the biggest thing is it's just been very inconsistent, and and that's that's been the, the struggle that they've had lately. They've you know they'll shut out a team one night and then get shut out the next, and and it's you know and and the other problem is they're they're shutting out the teams that or you know even less than that or more than that they're just beating the teams that are are either bottom feeders in the NHL or teams below the playoff line, right? And then they, they get into games like they did over the weekend against Vancouver and, and they get absolutely kind of outclassed um, games like they did on Wednesday night when they lost to the Nashville Predators who are above the playoff line and have surged and, and, and basically looked almost like a carbon copy of what the Jets used to look like. And and that that's sort of the thing. that The Jets have gotten away from uh, their abilities on the forecheck, the, the the their back check, the, the structure that 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 led them to thirty straight, thirty four straight games of allowing f- f- three goals or fewer. Um, you know that that just doesn't exist right now for this team. Uh, they've given up a lot of goals in, in this last little stretch, and even if you zoom out past these five games, you know since they since that 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 streak ended, that thirty four game streak ended. Uh, back in late January, this team has basically played 500 hockey since then. Um, prior to that, they, they had amassed a record that that was nearly se- winning 70 percent of their games, and and that's that's sort of where they are at this moment. Part of it, I think, is just fatigue. This team has dealt with the flu for almost a month now. Uh, it's kind of been running through the team. Um, you know, they obviously have some new players in the lineup. Uh, I you know those are supposed to help. I I think the biggest concern right now amongst this team is they have 17 games to go. They have a month left in the regular season, and they're struggling to find the game that kind of got them into this position. This this fight for first place in the Central Division, this fight for you know a President's Trophy even. Um, you know they're kind of losing ground in that race uh, at the moment, but um. Yeah, I mean, they're just not rising to the occasion that you would expect from a team that's kind of, you know, you look at the Floridas, the, uh, the even the Torontos, um, the, the Dallas Stars, teams like that that have really started to kind of, kind of go into kind of playoff mode, and, and the Jets haven't really kind of, uh, they haven't put it themselves in that gear yet, and uh, you know, with the closer this gets to. The end of the season, um, you know, there's only so many games left in the year. Uh, I think you would hope, uh, as a Jets fan, that this team would be starting to rise, uh, and and they just aren't at the moment. And I think, I think that's the biggest concern. And and their game just kind of looks slow. They look off the pace on on, on a lot of nights. And you know, it, it's things like that. Um, you know, Rick Bonus has said he kind of knows what the issues are. He, he's not willing to sort of publicly divulge those but uh we'll see i mean this is a team again that and we're seeing this across the nhl with some teams like the vegas golden knights and and other teams like that 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 have found their you know have struggled a little bit um but yeah the jets need to figure that out and 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 soon in my opinion now, of course, the Jets made some uh, acquisitions at the deadline, most notably Tyler Toffoli and uh, bringing alongside Colin Miller as well from the New Jersey Devils. Just a couple of games so far. Scott, but what have you made of uh, how they fit with the team so far? Yeah, I uh, really like the way that Tyler Toffoli's kind of acquainted himself to the team. He's um, He comes as advertised. He likes to shoot. He, he is, you know, he's kind of hard on pucks, likes to get in front of the net. Uh, hasn't scored yet, but, you know, in his first game, had a lot of chances, um, and 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 could have probably had two or three in that game. Uh, you know, didn't obviously pull the trigger in, in the end, but um, I, I think he's 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 played well. He he's exactly what they needed on that second line, um, and it's just going to take a little bit of time. Uh, when the Jets lost on on Thursday, they were without Mark Shifley, uh, who who has come down with that flu bug. 
Um, so that kind of threw a bit of a wrench into into the you know into the lines and that sort of thing. So, um, but I think you know get Mark Shifley back healthy, uh, and and the Tyler Toffoli can kind of really shine uh, in that second line role. Um, and he's looked good on the power play so far. So I think it's just a matter of time for him. Uh, in Colin Miller, yeah, I mean they're playing him. He's obviously he's been their third pairing defenseman. Uh, he he's done pretty well with, with with Dylan Sandberg. I mean it's only been two games. Um, probably guilty of a screen on one of the goals on Wednesday night, uh, and, and that you know it is what it is. I mean I, I think those are just little positional things that that you kind of iron out over after you play in in, in this system um, that that Rick Bonus has here. So. You know, I, I don't think it, but he's 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 developed a pretty good partnership already. Um, and the Jets haven't even practiced yet with this team. They're they're going to do that on Thursday for the first time uh, since since the trade deadline. Um, but uh, this is, uh, yeah, I I think they've done well. I mean, this team is deeper now um, than than they have been all season, and you know those the two acquisitions have done really well. They just got to figure out their game. Like I think there's. I think everybody looks at this team and sees, you know, a, a contender here. I think you, everybody looks at this team and says, sees what they did as a, at the trade deadline as a kind of an all-in moment for this club. Um, but what they, yeah, what they really need to do is 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 kind of sort it out. And you know, I think I think you're going to see with some of these guys. I mean, Tyler Toffoli's got 88 games of playoff experience. He's won a Stanley Cup. He's been to another Cup final. Uh, Colin Miller's been to a cup final as well um, with the original Misfits there in, in Vegas. Um, I think what you're probably going to see around here is a little bit of that experience. Um, I think you'd at least be hopeful that a little bit of that experience would start to wash over this team and, and kind of make it better down the, you know, down the stretch run here. But yeah, I, I think, you know, as far as these guys can, how, as good as they can be with no practice time, barely been able and sort of kind of walked into a dressing room that's dealing with the flu bug right now. Um, yeah, they, they, they've, they've, they've played pretty well. And, you know, I think it's only a matter of time for, for Tyler to fully, like Sean Monaghan before him, after the Jets acquired him six weeks ago now, took him a few games to get there. But then he started going on this this big run of, of goal scoring. And I think uh, we'll see that from Tyler to fully in, in due time. Well, luckily for the Jets, the schedule opens up a bit here with uh, games against the Anaheim Ducks and Columbus Blue Jackets on the weekend. As always, leave your thoughts in the comments section below. For Scott Billick, I'm Rob Wong. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll talk to you next time on another edition of Jets Setting.